I have, I had been on Monhegan previously um, for about eight years. I had been going to Monhegan, but I hadn't, um, I hadn't been able to spend more than two to three nights uh, afford to do that. Um, so this was just the, such an abundant experience to be able to get two weeks. Um, but the great thing is I did go to the island, um, you know, really knowing um, the island. So I had experience painting the island. I knew all the trails. So I kind of showed up um, with a little bit more experience, which is great because I only spent two weeks um, on the island. So I kind of didn't have to do all the processing of, um, you know, trying to understand the island first and then what it was giving to me. Um, and so uh, the nice thing is, is that I was able to kind of start my residency with kind of a thought in mind. Um, and one of my biggest goals was kind of whenever I would get off the island, um, when I'd go for the couple of days, I'd get off the island and I'd always think like, gosh, that feeling that you get or that you get this like you see the world so different, the light from the island and like, how can I keep that? How can I hold that in my practice? Um, which I kind of call the flow state, right? You're in this like flow. Um, and how can I have that when I get away? So how can I get that flow state while I'm there? And then how do I bring it back to my studio was sort of my goal. Um, so I ended up, um, starting with just making sure that I showed up to that creative process and didn't have a blank canvas. So um, how do you like just start? And every day I just decided to kind of show up to the different um, pieces in a sketchbook. So I called it the sketch playbook because it was like whatever came out um, in that process um, is what I would just do. So there was no excuse to not create no matter what I did. Um, and then my next piece step was to um, do my what I know, which is get out and do some plein air painting. So I went to many different places and did kind of my different plein air painting, um, which when I show up with plein air, I'm not doing representational. I am trying to um, really kind of think about the place more and kind of like look at deeper colors that maybe we don't see. Um, and I do work in acrylic paint too. I don't, um, in the field. So, um, I, I love acrylic cause you have to be fast with it. You can't make, uh, many choices. So, um, kind of taking that approach. So I did, I did get out and paint a lot of different scenes. Um, Another thing that I do as a side hobby of mine is cooking. So it was awesome to fill myself with the abundance of the island while I was there. Um, so I kind of think of, of you know, cooking is like the art, but um, it's great because there's so much fresh vegetables on the island. And I think just making sure that I was indulging in that and the kitchen that you get when you're in the residency. Um, so just really embracing, um, nourishing myself while I was there. Um, and then my next one was the studio practice. So this was where I had the experience where I hadn't had this, right? So I hadn't had the opportunity to have a space. It's, it was always just a bed in a room on Monhegan. So this was just the most luxurious piece. So just um, what did that studio practice look like? Um, and so I as you can see, like I worked a lot with a very variety of things I did. Um, I used a lot of tape in my work, trying to capture like tape out different lines that I was seeing out there in the field. So this is like a collection of um, a collection of the work that I did plain air, but also work in the studio. I ended up bringing just flat canvases so that I didn't have to worry about packing all these thick canvases. So I really worked flat um, while I was there. Um, but it really allowed me to kind of carve in, take away and do different things that maybe I hadn't done. Um, and so it was awesome that I was able to have a studio practice on the island. Um, and it allowed me to experiment. Um, so you can see here is the, the tape up a little closer where I was drawn to kind of just really piecing out what I was seeing and like really deducting it down. Um, to that simple line. Um, and so I'd go out into the field 
and do more sketches and then bring back. I practice a lot of times too, working from memory so that I'm not relying on what I'm seeing, but relying on my brain a little bit more. Um, and then another thing that I was really excited about is I use these transparencies, um, which is like emulsion screen. So I would expose these with the light. Uh, so these are transparency sketches. So I went on a hike. I just put my little trail that I took on the south side here um, of the, the hike that I took. Um, and then I do these quick sketches and I, I was, it was like one minute only I could spend. And then I went back and I would expose these, um, using, using an emulsion screen, which is exposed with light. So I love that I was connecting that idea of that light that you see on the Island into my work. Um, and so these are the transparency pieces that came out of that, um, where I would screen, uh, I would screen these prints and then I'd color paint them in. But then I started kind of playing around with the idea of keeping the original transparency with the background. Um, so the reproduction of the painted pieces. Um, so it was nice that I was able to kind of play with these different ideas and really dive into something that maybe I wouldn't have done if I was only there for three days. Um, so that leads me to like now and like, how did it, how did that all like come together and that it's, it might, it definitely, Monhegan, this, this residency really changed my work. It really changed how I show up to my work. I still keep my journal of every day having an art journal that I go to. So I always have something, a, a, a canvas. I'm way more experimental in my work and really kind of really trying to capture those shapes a little bit more um, and using more mixed media. I've started doing more sewing in my work, collage in my work. Um, so it did really like kind of allow me to break a little bit from maybe just keeping that kind of idea of just a plain air painting. So um, it was a good, great experience. And that is it.